Hello everyone, now let us discuss about 2023 ICD 10CM coding guidelines for chapter 15 part 4. In the current session, we will be discussing about the fetal conditions affecting the management of mother. Fetal conditions that affect the maternal management. There are two subcategorized guidelines under the fetal conditions affecting management of mother. They are codes from the category O35 and O36 and in utero surgery. Application of these codes in the in utero surgery. First coming to codes from categories O35 and 36. Codes from the category O35 which is nothing but maternal care for known or suspected fetal abnormality and damage. And O36 maternal care for other fetal problems are assigned only when the fetal condition is actually responsible these codes are assigned when the fetal condition is responsible for modifying the management of the mother. That is by requiring additional diagnostic studies, additional observation, special care or in some extreme cases termination of the pregnancy. The fact that the fetal condition exists does not justify assigning a code from this series to the mother's record. Simple existence of a fetal condition does not justify the assignment of these codes to the mother record. These codes are assigned only when the fetal condition is actually responsible for modifying the management of the mother. That is by requiring diagnostic studies, additional observations, special care and in extreme cases termination of the pregnancy. Now coming to in utero surgery. In cases when the surgery is performed on the fetus, which is nothing but in utero surgery, it is performed on the fetus under the mother's womb only. When the fetus is in the mother's womb only, a diagnostic code from the category O35, maternal care for known or suspected fetal abnormality and damage should be assigned identifying the fetal condition. Assign the appropriate procedure code for the procedure performed. And whenever we are coding in utero surgery, no code from chapter 16, no code from chapter 16, that is the perinatal code should be used on the mother's record to identify the fetal condition. Surgery is performed in utero on the fetus is still to be coded as an obstetric encounter, not as a newborn encounter. The surgery performed in utero on a fetus is still conducted considered or coded as an obstetric encounter and should be assigned the code from O35 category and you should not use any code from chapter 16. We have earlier discussed that application of 7th character for identification of fetus. Wherever applicable, a 7th character is to be assigned to certain categories such as O31, 32, 33, 33.3, 33.6 and here we are particularly interested about O35 and 36. These codes also require a 7th character for the identification of fetus and assign the 7th character 0 for single gestations and multiple gestations when the fetus is unspecified. It can be used for single gestations and multiple gestations whenever the fetus is unspecified and when the documentation in the record is insufficient to determine the fetus affected and it is not part possible to obtain clarification. Even in such case, you can assign zero. Next case is when it is not possible to clinically determine which fetus is affected. In all the three cases, you can assign zero. For single gestations, for unspecified fetus of multiple gestations, whenever the documentation is insufficient to determine which fetus is affected and whenever it is not possible to clinically determine which fetus is affected. In all these cases, you can use seventh character zero. And the seventh character 1 through 9 are the cases of multiple gestation to identify the fetus which, for which the code applies. Appropriate code from the category O30. Multiple gestations must also be assigned when assigning a code in certain categories like O35 and 36 from seventh character 1 through 9. Seventh character 1 means that is considered as fetus 1. So, multiple gestations. So, whenever we are coding 7th character 1 through 9, it is not applicable for 0 because it is given for single gestations and for unspecified. Whenever we are applying 7th character 1 through 9, 
you must assign an additional code from the category O30 that is multiple gestation in addition to the codes from these categories, all these categories. As we have discussed earlier, seventh character zero is indicated for single gestations and in case of multiple gestations, whenever the fetus is unspecified or whenever it is clinically not possible to determine which fetus is affected. In all these cases, seventh character zero can be assigned. Seventh character one is indicated for fetus one, two is indicated for fetus two, three is indicated for fetus three, four is indicated for fetus four, and five is indicated for fetus five. Nine is indicated for other fetus. Now coming to the codes that affect the maternal management. Coming to O35 series, new codes have been added since October 2022. They are indicated by circle in the purple color. This is also a new code and star mark indicates it is further expandable because these require seventh character. O35.00 is indicated for maternal care for suspected care for suspected central nervous system malformation or damage in fetus unspecified. O35.01 is indicated for maternal care for suspected central nervous system malformation or damage in fetus agenesis of the corpus callosum. Next, O35.02 is indicated for damage in fetus encephaly. Next, O35.03 is indicated for maternal care for suspected central nervous system malformation or damage in fetus choroid plexus cyst. And O35.04 is indicated for encephalocele. All these things are same. Maternal care for suspected central nervous system malformation or damage in fetus encephalocele is indicated by O35.04. All these codes, they require a seventh character and are indicated by star mark. And circle is indicated for indicating that these are new codes, new additions. Next, O35.05 is indicated for maternal care for Suspected central nervous system malformation of da or damage in fetus holoprosencephaly. Next, O35.06 is indicated for hydrocephaly or fetal hydrocephalus. Next, O35.07 is indicated for maternal care for suspected central nervous system malformation or damage in fetus microcephaly. Next, O35.08 is indicated for suspected spina bifida. Next, O35.09 is indicated for suspected maternal care for suspected other central nervous system malformation or damage in fetus. O35.10 is indicated for maternal care for chromosomal abnormality in fetus unspecified. O35.11 is indicated for maternal care for chromosomal abnormality in fetus trisomo, trisomy 13. Next, O35.12 is indicated for trisomy 18. O35.13 is indicated for trisomy 21. 12 is indicated for trisomy 18. 11 is indicated for trisomy 13. 13 is indicated for trisomy 21. And O35.14 is indicated for maternal care for chromosomal abnormality in fetus Turner syndrome. Next O35.15 is indicated for maternal care for chromosomal abnormality in fetus sex chromosome abnormality. The next is O35.19. It is indicated for maternal care for chromosomal abnormality in fetus other chromosomal abnormality. Next, O35.A is indicated for maternal care for other fetal abnormality and damage, fetal facial anomalies. It is indicated for fetal facial anomalies. O35.B is indicated for fetal cardiac anomalies. And O35.C is indicated for all these are new codes. O35.C is indicated for fetal pulmonary anomalies. 
and O35.D is indicated for fetal gastrointestinal anomalies. E O35.E is indicated for fetal dentio urinary anomalies. Next O35.F is indicated for fetal musculoskeletal anomalies of trunk. O35.G is indicated for fetal upper extremity anomalies. O35.H is indicated for fetal lower extremity anomalies. Next, O35.2. These are old codes only that were existing before. O35.2 is indicated for maternal care for hereditary disease in fetus. And O35.3 is indicated for maternal care for damage to fetus from viral disease in mother. Maternal care for damage to fetus from maternal cytomegalo virus infection. For that also you need to code O35.3 series. And for maternal care for damage to fetus from maternal rubella. For that also you need to code from the series O35.3. All the codes from category O35 and 36 they require a 7th character to indicate the fetus. Next O35.4 is indicated for maternal care for damage to fetus from alcohol. Next, O35.5 is indicated for maternal care for suspected damage to fetus by drugs. Maternal care for damage to fetus from drug addiction. Next, O35.6 is indicated for maternal care for suspected damage to fetus by radiation. O35.7 is indicated for maternal care for suspected damage to fetus by other medical procedures. For example, Maternal care for damage to fetus by aminosynthesis. Maternal care for damage to fetus by biopsy procedures. Maternal care for damage to fetus by hematological investigation. Maternal care for damage to fetus by intrauterine cons contraceptive device. Maternal care for damage to fetus by intrauterine surgery. For all these cases, you need to quote from the category O35.7. And O35.8 is indicated for maternal care for other fetal abnormality and damage. Or maternal care for damage to fetus from maternal listerosis. Or maternal care for damage to fetus from maternal toxoplasmosis. In all these cases, you need to quote from the category O35.8. And finally, O35.9 is indicated for maternal care for fetal abnormality suspected. All are suspected cases. Eternal care for suspected fetal abnormality and damage unspecified. All are suspected cases and all require a seventh character. Now coming to codes from category O36. Here we are not discussing in detail each code. We are broadly discussing the categories. So O36.0 is indicated for all the codes are further expandable. And they require a seventh character. O36.0 indicates maternal care for recess isoimmunization or maternal care for RH incompatibility. Next, uh, O36.1. O36.1 indicates maternal care for other isoimmunization or maternal care for ABO isoimmunization. Next, O36.2 is indicated for maternal care for Hydrops fetalis or maternal care for Hydrops fetalis NOS or maternal care for Hydrops fetalis not associated with isoimmunization. Next O36.4 is indicated for maternal care for intrauterine death or maternal care for intrauterine fetal death NOS, maternal care for intrauterine fetal death after completion of 20 weeks of gestation or maternal care for late fetal death or maternal care for missed delivery. In all these cases, you need to quote O36.4 series. Next, O36.5 is indicated for maternal care for known or suspected poor fetal growth. Next, O36.6 is indicated for maternal care for excessive fetal growth or maternal care for unknown or suspected large fertility. 
Next, O36.7 is indicated for maternal care for viable fetus in abdominal pregnancy. Maternal care for viable fetus in abdominal pregnancy. O36.8 is indicated for maternal care for other specified fetal problems. And O36.9 is indicated for maternal care for fetal problem unspecified. These are the various subcategories of O36 series. Now let us see an example. OB gynecologist documents CNS damage in a single ton pregnancy 15 weeks. And we must add or you must add a place keeper X in order to fill the gap for the seventh character. So CNS damage, CNS malfunction or damage is indicated by O35.00. So additionally it requires a seventh character. So you need to use a place holder X or place keeper X for the sixth character. So the final code is O35.00X0. 0 indicates single gestations. Here, the OB gynecologist documents CNS damage in singleton pregnancy. Singleton means single gestation, 15 weeks old. So the code is O35.00X0, maternal care for suspected central nervous system malformation or damage in fetus unspecified singleton. It is indicated by 7th character 0. Next weeks of gestation Z3A.15 to indicate 15 weeks of gestation of pregnancy. Next example. OB gyne suspects a chromosomal abnormality of trisomy 21 in the second twin in a multiple gestation pregnancy 13 weeks old. Here, the OB gain suspects a chromosomal abnormality of trisomy 21 in the second twin. So, the fetus number is 2. So, the appropriate code is O35.13X2. O35.13X2. Maternal care for suspected chromosomal abnormality in fetus trisomy 21, second fetus. It is indicated by 7th character 2. And 6th character is given by the placeholder or placekeeper X. Next, whenever we are coding O35 series 36, all the subcategories that have been mentioned in the earlier session, you need to use multiple gestation codes. Whenever we are using 7th character 1 to 9, then we must use additionally multiple gestation code from O30. Here the 7th character is 2. So, the multiple gestation code must be present. The code is, here the multiple gestations are twins. O30.001. Twin pregnancy, unspecified number of placenta and unspecified number of amniotic sacs. First trimester. Because 13 weeks. Up to 14 weeks, 0 days, it is first trimester. Next, Z3A.13 to indicate 13 weeks of gestation of pregnancy. Next example. ob gain suspects a placental insufficiency in a singleton pregnancy 29 weeks. ob gain suspects a placental insufficiency in a singleton pregnancy 29 weeks. The code is O36.5130. O36.5130. Maternal care for placental insufficiency. 29 weeks means third trimester. About 28 weeks until delivery, it is third trimester. So 29 weeks indicates third trimester and singleton pregnancy. Here, seventh character 0 indicates single gestation and sixth character 3 indicates third trimester. O36.5130. 5130 maternal care for placental insufficiency third trimester single gestation additionally code from z3a series z3a.29 to indicate 29 weeks of gestation of pregnancy thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and cpc training